What's up, folks? It's your boy, the left legged legend. I'm I'm leaving the prostatist because I had to come have an appointment with him so he could um, work on getting my leg. It's not a given. It has been referred. He's been referred to by the by the insurance. And so now, of course, the insurance, he's, I have the greatest prosthetist. I come to Essential Orthotics and Prosthetics in uh, Palmdale. I think this is Palmdale, but it could be uh, Lancaster. But I come here and he's very open with me. He's taught me how to fix things. He's empowered me to ask questions and get adjustments that a lot of people, you know, may not know or feel empowered to do like they don't know um so I, I feel very comfortable with him if i moved away from here i would come back and see him uh donald dotter is his name at essential orthotics and prosthetics and and i just love going to him because i don't just feel like a patient being prescribed things i feel like i'm part of the process but anyway how it goes is I went to see the, all the doctors. We already went through that uh, several times, how many appointments I had to make. So then I get to physical health. Physical health sees me and says, okay, yes, you can use this knee, you can work with it. But then it goes to the business office or the referrals department. And the referrals department, for lack of a better way to explain it, is looking for ways to not approve the, the knee. It's, a, it's an expensive knee. Uh, it's very important that it gets used, you know, they don't want to spend all that money and him building up this plan and then uh, we don't use it. So um, they talked to him and had some questions. Well, is he working? Is he like, is he active? Like, what are some of the things? So uh, it has to be justified why I would need the knee, which I think I make a good case for myself. I travel all over the world. Uh, when I had the knee, I walked miles on it. You know, uh, I walked from the Airbnb to the beach. We went to the store. I didn't shy away. We went out almost every night. I didn't shy away from using my leg or the knee. So they have the data that I'll use it. I take my daughter to the movies. Uh, quite regularly. We used to go to Six Flags, but they don't let me ride any of the rides anymore. And so it's just a process. Now I have to justify getting the knee and that I'm going to use it, which of course I am. I would use it twice as much as this one because it walks with me. It learns how I walk. It's like having an extra part of me. I think if anybody's justified in getting it, it would be me because I mean, I'm the left legged legend. So my right leg needs to be legendary as well. And a computer leg, a C leg uh, um, would be perfect for that. But anyway, I'm leaving now. I'm invigorated. I always have some trepidation with insurance companies because my fear is they don't see me as a person. They don't see me as needing this piece of equipment because I'm gonna use it and it's gonna enhance my life. They see it as an expense that they're going to pay, which is, you know, sucks and um, it should never be looked at like that. But I also understand people not using it. And then when if you look at, you know, my health is good, but I'm overweight. So if you're gonna give this $30,000 knee, however much it is, you know, to this guy that's overweight, but I've been losing weight, I've been being active. I don't know, I guess I'm trying to justify it to you all and myself, but I, I think I have shown that I can use it. I never thought until I got that leg that I would ever run again. And I don't even like running. If you know me, you know that I'm, me and running are not friends, but having the leg for the two weeks that I had, I really saw, saw and thought of myself as running again. I finally understood the, the use of those blades that you see people on when they're running on the blade. Like, oh, now I know they can't run on the flat foot because the fake foot is just a flat foot. My ankle doesn't have any pinch or move or give or anything like that. So it would be difficult to run on it. Um, and so it's just learning those processes and being able to use that again. And so hopefully, you know, keep your fingers crossed, please, for me. If you're a praying person, please pray, meditate, give me good vibes, whatever it is, please do that for me because I really would like to get this knee and I don't want uh, bureaucracy or, or healthcare politics or how things are usually done to stop me from getting it because I do believe 
in my heart that this is a great opportunity for me to have something that I can track, I can keep data, I can see uh, what some of my issues are and kind of work on those and just help me propel me forward. You know, it's the difference between, I don't know, uh, riding a bike manually and then riding a motorcycle and not to say that this leg doesn't work for me I walk on it I can walk without a cane but it'd be so much nicer to have something that I know is learning me walking with me it felt like I had muscles in my legs again so um, with this leg it's all you know momentum and 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 peg legging over the knee and that kind of stuff. And with the other leg, it actually walks with me. So it felt like I had muscles. It, if I stumbled, it would stop me from falling um, and stand me back up so, and like my leg would do. And so I'm just really hopeful to get it. So please send me positive vibes, leave a note, you know, subscribe, see how this journey goes. I, I think I'm able to do it, but we shall see. But once again, uh, it's the Left Legged Legend just giving you a quick update. I'm out. Thank you so much.